hello everyone so today we are doing lipsticks i know this has been put off for so freaking long i'm so sorry about that there was always just a freaking excuse for a reason why i couldn't do it like my room has been so messy but i finally prioritized i cleaned up and here we are. A quick disclaimer, um, a lot of you guys are not going to be happy with this video because a lot of this stuff is going straight in the rubbish bin because a lot of these lipsticks are literally at least four or five years old. So I'm going to go through, some of them I'm just going to throw in the bin because they are overdue. Some of them I'm going to go through each shade and pick out my favorite ones. And yeah, we're just going to play it from there. There will be lots of your favorite fast forward ASMR noises. And I'm also going to maybe try filming a mixing all of my lipsticks together of the ones that I discard. Like before I throw them in the bin, I might as well like see what happens if I mix them all together. And I thought that could be a fun video. So let me know if you do want to see that and I will film that for you. If you don't want to see that, let me know that as well. So I don't waste my time. <laughs> I'm not sure if you can hear, but I am kind of getting over a cold right now. Um, so please excuse that and I don't know how much we will get through today I'll see how long I'm filming for because I also have all of these drawers under here full of lipstick as well so I'm not sure if we will get to all of these in the same video or if I'll split it into a couple let's just get started and see how we go so I'm going to start down at this end over here so you can see I've got a few EXO beauty lipsticks right here those are obviously going to be fine but I might just reorganize them in a moment I might put them like closer to me because obviously it's my own brand it is what I use the most often in my everyday life I use them in some tutorials as well it is one reason why I want to clear out all of these lipsticks because I really want to refine my collection. I've got too many. I used to be all about just collecting as many as I could. Now I just want my favorites so that I'm encouraged to use them in more tutorials because usually at the moment if I don't know what color to go I know my own brand so well that I'll just use that. So I really need to like narrow down some other brands so that I have more of an incentive to go through and like grab them and not be overwhelmed because there's just like thousands. So at the very back here we have some Stila lipsticks which I'm pretty sure I bought these in about 2013. Honestly they are probably well um expired. Avery used to be my favorite one. Look at that. It's a bit revolting. I still love colors like this. I actually used quite a lot of it. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah I loved these. I loved the minty kind of feeling of them but they are going in the bin because they are just ridiculously old. Likewise, all of these, um, Vincent Longo, I think I got in 2013 as well. They are so old. I used a few of them for a while there. Some of them are completely untouched, but I don't think I should really donate them either because they are so old. How do I tell? Like, they still smell okay. Maybe I can just put aside the ones that are untouched and, I don't know. Or even the ones that are untouched. If I can't donate them, I can always just like offer them to my friends and if they're shit then they can just chuck them away. I don't know. I just feel bad to like chuck out every single freaking lipstick. Anyway, um, I'm just going to move my way down here. So through here we have some Inglot. So I'm probably just going to keep a couple of these. Here is another stealer. I'll get rid of. I'm just going to zoom you in a little bit while I'm dealing with specific shades so this is really pretty 412 i'm sure that used to be like one of my favorite shades i'm just gonna put it over here because i think i'll keep that one this is just a pale nude 415 so i'm gonna get rid of that because i'm gonna have a lot of nudes in here and i think like i'm just gonna keep most of the shades of the ones that are my favorite for example like mac ysl tom ford and then other brands, I'm just going to pick my favorite kind of unique shades rather than anything else. Just so that I don't overwhelm myself anymore. Most of these are unused, so I'm just putting them to one side. My friends can see if they're still all good or not. And then if they think they are, I can give any leftovers to a charity. <laughs> Look how pretty that Barbie pink is. This is shade 423. Of course, while I'm just doing this stuff, I'll speed up whatever I can. Okay, I'm gonna swatch this one because I really like the look of it. This is in the shade 401. See, that's quite nice. I'm gonna keep that one. The formula seems fine. If it seems stable, there's no wax on top. Um, it doesn't smell funny at all. It smells sweet, like normal. Um, this is the thing. Like, I store my makeup so well, it should theoretically, like, still last long. And then it says 
you know the expiry date is but sometimes some formulas aren't as stable and you open them up and there's like wax everywhere they're all separated they look disgusting you know you can see in here there's some like lip glosses and stuff those don't actually belong up here so i'm going to just move those out of the way i have some like liquid ysl lipsticks but these packagings are so small that i could probably actually have them like in this drawer my other goal i forgot to mention at the beginning of this video is to completely clear out the drawers underneath so that um i can have a space to put makeup that's brand new for like first impressions and stuff because currently i have them over in the shelves like over that way but those shelves are such shit they fall apart all the time so i need to like have a better space so i thought this would be good and then the other area won't be so cluttered i have these um colourpop lipsticks which i actually sorted out on my live stream yesterday so i'm just going to pop them there i've already just like you know decided on the colors and everything who is it ringing me just text me you weirdos this is very overwhelming okay over here we have some three concept eyes tall slim lipsticks and some kevin aquan lipsticks the kevin aquan ones must be so old Oh my goodness. Um, I'm just going to put these to one side. That's not used. Some pretty shades. These probably, yeah, they smell okay. I bet you can't even buy them anymore. <laughs> Honestly, this pile of like unused lipsticks is getting ridiculous. I'll show you how it looks like at the end of the video. That's really sad because that's just heaps of wasted money. See, look, this is definitely kind of expired. I don't know if you can see, but it's all bubbling up and just smells rancid and looks revolting. It's not going to focus, is it? I'm not sure if you can see see it very well on camera it's just got this like weird texture all the wax has come out it looks like a disease i have a couple of makeup store lipsticks right here stunning i probably won't reach for these i don't know the packaging's weird eh how like the lid is so tiny it's like a white nude which i won't actually wear either so i'm just gonna put those aside for friends to look at um because they still look all, all good i'm gonna throw this away do you remember when i used that oh my god <laughs> that's a kylie shade in monster i have some Too faced lipsticks all down this side which are very very old as well these must be from like 2013 2014 so i think most of these are probably gonna be a bit past it so i'll put aside the new ones i have some makeup forever right here but my favorite one is shade 22 i think which it looks like isn't even in this collection <laughs> probably lost it because i used to wear it all the time yeah these have a weird smell to them like almost like a plastic smell which means they are well and truly expired all right over here what do we have urban decay i feel like these aren't that old so we'll have a look at the colors and just decide i feel like these are only like a year old or something i don't know um not a fan of that one Some of those shades I'm like on the fence about, so I may go back into a couple of them because they're quite unique. I'll see what else I have in the rest of my collection, but just a very dark, vampy, deep color caught my eye. So like, you know what I mean? I'm just going to have to wait and see. These go like ones are pretty old. Let me just have a look. Stunning colors though. There's this Pericone MD. Oh my God, look, that's so expired. It's just completely like discolored and separated and looks revolting. I was going to keep that, but yeah, it is pretty old. See? What an unsatisfying video. But oh well. Cav 1D. I'm gonna bin. Um, we've got Edward Bess here. Um, I think I've got a lot like that. Okay, here's something I really wanna go through. I've got a lot of Urban Decay. Um, <clears throat> what are these called again? I don't know. It's just like their lipsticks. This is how the lipsticks come now. So I've got a lot of these. We're gonna like discover them as we go because I know I've got them like scattered all over the show. So I'm going to just go through and kind of keep my favorites. Like I really like this one. This is called Rock Steady. It's a cream finish and it's like a really deep red. So I'm just gonna keep some shades that like you know, I don't necessarily have a lot of in other brands or whatever. This color is so stunning. It's called Backtalk. It's like a muted pink shade. I'll swatch it for you guys in case you're curious to see it. Oh, 
Mauve beautiful. Oh my gosh. Sorry, my dogs are ruining the ASMR right now. And we have Naked, which is a favorite of mine by Urban Decay. It's just like a pinky, nudey color. Very wearable. These Moxie ones I've had for way too long. Those are probably a 2000. 14 or so. How do I even? Beautiful shades. That one's not being used. What does it smell like? <laughs> I feel weird just like sniffing everything, but honestly, it's one of the best indicators. This one's just completely. Look at that. <laughs> I don't know what happened there. It's like fallen into the lid. Here we have some Givenchy. I don't remember how old these are, so I'm just gonna have to do a good old smell test. Mmm, I don't know. It smells a bit iffy actually. It like smells really strong. I don't know if that's like normal or not though. It's not like a smell I would want to wear on my lips anyway. So I think I'm going to get rid of these. They're such cool packaging. It's like a leather. I really like that. All being used. Oh, this one's got like blue stuff on the inside. Can you see this? Can you see like that blue powder? I wonder what that is. Don't tell me that's mold. Um, I'm definitely going to keep my Benefit balms. I really like these, especially for like just a natural look or the gym or whatever. Like this one here is Posy Balm and it's just such a nice little flash of color and they're quite hydrating as well. Like not as hydrating as a lip balm, but you still get some pretty good hydration with them. By the way, guys, you guys know I've already done a declutter on my MAC lipstick, so I will link that video below for you. Down here we have, what are these? They're very stubby. Are they Ardency In? I think they're Ardency In. So these are probably from like 2015, 2016. Yes, Ardency In. That one's unused. I don't think I'll keep these. Like, I've never even reached for them. I'm pretty nerds. Oh my god, look at this one. It's like pale yellow. I have some Buxom Marvelous Moxies, which are quite old as well. Surprise, surprise, what's new? That's just this entire video. That one's so pretty. Brand new. I'll pop that in my friend pile. We have a couple more vice lipsticks. I might as well just like, you know, decide if I want to pop these next to the others. So we've got the shade in Fuego, which is a brown. I'm going to keep that because I don't really have a lot of browns. And then we have one called Trip, which is actually really stunning as well. It's a little bit more warm and lighter. And then we have Fuel 2.0, which is a brown nude, which is also pretty. I don't really have anything like that in this area yet. So we'll pop that there. I just spawned some more um, Urban Decay lipsticks right here. There's Naked. Maybe these are older than I think because I'm sure these are the newer packaging and I've already got Naked in this packaging. So yeah. Okay, we have some shades here by Marc Jacobs. I'm pretty sure I got sent these more recently. So we have this shade called Have We Met. I hate the shape of the bullet. It's like real bulbous. It's like a sheer kind of pinky color. I actually quite like that. I'm kind of into shares at the moment. So I'm gonna keep that. They're just quite nice like when you wear them on top of a lip liner. Then I also have Dizzy Spell, which is like a sheer nude also. Is this a sheer formula or is it just expired? It smells okay. I'm gonna keep it for now. Also got a leopard print one here. This is in Perfect. I haven't even worn this one. I'm gonna keep that. That's more of an opaque cream formula and I'm literally keeping it because of the packaging, YOLO. And then the final one here is called Pout. And this is in a matte kind of packaging and look, that shape, that's so much better. That's actually like a pointy bullet. Pout looks like that, which is kind of similar to the one above it except more nude rather than peach. I'm keeping that too. Why not? Let's just go all out. Okay, I've got a Pure Envy lipstick by Estee Lauder and this is in the shade Defiant Coral and it looks unused actually. I'm not even going to swatch it. I'm just going to put that in the donut pile. It looks kind of like a shimmery kind of formula so I don't think I'll like it. And then this is by Galan. Let's have a look. Obviously I've never even opened it. Packaging looks like this. Oof. That's a stunning colour. I'm swatching this. So it's in the shade 325 Rouge Kiss and it's a deep pinky toned red. And I have another one here. This one is in the shade Crazy Bouquet. Might actually get rid of that one because the color looks almost the same. All right, we have some more Pure Envy by Estee Lauder. Some of them are used, some of them aren't. That is a new color. I'm gonna get rid of that one because once again, I've got similar ones. Uh, we've got Desirable, which is a nude. It actually looks really pretty. Do I want to swap? No, I've already got too many nudes. And then this one here, which is more of a pinky color called Potent. 
looks like I've used it once, but I'll still put it in this pile because one of my friends might like it. I've also got this Dolce & Gabbana lipstick in the shade Violet. What the heck? I'm going to keep it just because it's unique. We've got Sansa Stark from the Game of Thrones collection. I did a video on recently. I'll link it below if I remember. Um, I love that color. It's a sheer kind of like orangey color. It's actually similar to the Marc Jacobs one there, except I guess more beige. Oops, sorry, you can't even see it right here. Um, I really like it. It's so pretty. So I'm going to keep that because like I said, I am enjoying like sheer colors at the moment. Next up we have some hourglass lipsticks right here. I'm just weirded out by the shape of these as well. That one's been squashed against the lid. Like the colors are really nice, but I can't get past the shape of these. <laughs> oh, I'm going to give those away. I've got a like random rogue Tom Ford here in a YSL. So I'm gonna probably like bring them over to the side when I start clearing them out, but I'm just going over here first. So I've got a couple more Givenchy. Um, this is a like orangey color in Tempting Coral. I'm just gonna swatch it. Mm, it smells a bit iffy. I'm gonna get rid of those. And then down in this corner here we have heaps of Charlotte Tilbury, which I'll probably keep a lot of these. They are one of my favorites lines of lipsticks. I'll just go through them. So I've got the shade 1975 red, which just fell out of the freaking tube. Cool. I'm just going to gently push it back in. Um, is this still all good? Yeah, look. Look at that pigment. It is insane. Like, they're so beautiful. So I'll keep that. I'll probably keep most of these. Then we've got Miss Kensington, which is a beautiful matte. Um, is it matte? Maybe it's not matte. Like, pinky nerd like a very muted pinky nerd we have glastonbury which is a deep i might declutter that one i've never used it it's not really my kind of color then we've got love bite which is a bright kind of orangey color which i'll also declutter because i've got similar ones already um we've got penelope pink which is one of my personal favorites it's a nerd it's not really a pink at all it's like a muted kind of I guess pinky nude <laughs> then I have Coachella coral which I have recently mixed obviously because it's got a nude on top of it but it's just a really pretty pinky coral color I've also got so Marilyn which is a deep red which I, I don't know let me just see what else I've got here we've got velvet underground which is a bright pink I'll probably get rid of that one I've got Walk of Shame. I just want to swatch it. This is a beautiful, rich, warm brown, like ready kind of brown. I'm going to keep that because I don't really have anything else like that. And then the last one I have is Lost Cherry, which is another coral. So I'll probably get rid of that one. I might actually keep this one, which was so Marilyn because it's a really dark red. I'm going to swatch it. Yeah, that's so pretty. I've probably got a similar one by MAC, but whatever. I've already been very cutthroat, so I feel like I deserve it. Okay. I've got all of these hourglass lipsticks, which I just don't go for. They're like a slimline. They're so beautiful, you guys. Like, the actual colors are, like, to die for, but I just don't use them. They're so fiddly. Like, I, I appreciate the reusable packaging, whatever, but I just don't use it. So, I'm gonna give those to someone else to use. I have some more Inglot slimline lipsticks, which... I will probably just pop in the bin because those are insanely old. Um, I have some Kat Von D over here, which I'll give to friends. I've got these Dose of Colors, which are literally, how old? 2014 maybe? Um, they are probably all expired, honestly. It smells a little bit iffy. Like, they still apply really nicely. Do they even sell these anymore though? Like, it's probably just a waste of time if I keep them. Some of those colors are real unique. Like, no one makes colors like this anymore. I know you're probably looking at this like, Shannon, shut up. Yes, they do. But, like, I don't know. There's just something about the colors. Like, they're very pastel. Like, not many brands do, like, pastel anymore. It's more about, like, muted these days. Do you know what I mean? I might just... Hold on. Let me Google it. I'll see if they still make these. On a lot of these shades, it does say sold out on the website. But they're still on the website. So, I might just keep some of my favorite colors. All right, we've got some more random, like, um, Color Envy, Estee Lauder. I'm going to get rid of that one. We've got this 
other Dolce & Gabbana in Soiree. I think that's how you say it, I don't know. This is like a shimmery pinky color. You know what? I actually quite like that. That's super unique. It's got a glitter through it. You're not gonna be able to see on camera. Um, and it's like a sheer formula, but I quite like it. I feel like on top of a nude lip pencil, it would look really, really pretty. I have a couple of Dior lipsticks just here. So this one here is in the shade Dior Nude 123. And it's just a really pale, like, pale pinky nude and then the other one i have is dual nude 263 which is a more like mauve pinky color um i might give those to friends we've got um more dose of colors but these are the desi and katie collection um i haven't even used these yet i'm definitely going to keep them we've got some mac look oh that's really pretty ah, i'm getting too overwhelmed okay i've got a bright urban decay Oofed lipstick. Wait, it looks way brighter on the swatch. It's like a muted kind of like, I don't know, lavender kind of color. I'm gonna keep it. Okay, I've got my Audacious lipsticks by NARS. So let's go through these. I've got a lot of them, so I just need to like keep my favorites and then the rest of them I'll give to friends to have a look through. So we have Angela, which is a like fuchsia color. Real fun. This one here is called Natalie. Stunning, but I feel like I've got other colors similar. We have Claudia, which is a color pink, which I'll get rid of. We have um, Geraldine, which is a bright orange, so I'll keep that. Because that's like very, very orange, whereas the other oranges I've kept here are more either like red or muted so far. I have Rita. And as I continue, you know they're getting sweeter. That's a stunning color. Oh, I want to keep it. Even though I've got like a lot of reds by MAC, which... I really love um Anna so pretty oh man this is harsh I'm gonna end up keeping them all aren't I um we have Lana which is another orange except nah see that's more like limerence base or beauty that's so similar like a red orange and a bit darker so I'll get rid of that one um I have Juliet which is a beautiful peachy tone i'm going to keep that my gosh i'm so excited to like wear these i already just want to like smother makeup on and just like play with lipsticks now i love this okay next i've got margot which is a very deep muted red i feel like it's too similar to the other one i kept so i'll get rid of that one i have michio which is a bright pink which i've already got a similar one bakes with beauty we've got liv which is Similar to Wapi Sabi by Exo Beauty. We have Anita, which is a nude. Here we go. Let's see. Oh, that's pretty. I'll see. I'll choose between this one and this one. This one is called Raquel, and this is another nude. Oh, they're kind of similar. I might keep Raquel. So I've kept six, and I've gotten rid of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that's a good effort. I've also got this here by uh, Laura Mercier, it's in Rose, and it's a pinky color. Ooh, that's pretty too. No, I'll get rid of it. Okay, next up we have some Buxom lipsticks, which are probably about three or four years old. So, unless there's any colors that I'm just obsessed with, I did really love these, but I don't reach for them a lot. I think I'll just get rid of those. And I've also got some Shiseido lipsticks, which I believe are quite new. I feel like they're just so similar to some of the other colors I've just kept, though. So I'll give those to friends or donate them. I've got the Dose of Colors Desi Katie Collection liquid lipsticks. So I might just, like, pop those next to... Oh, that one's so cool. I might just pop those next to... I don't know, them over there somewhere. All right, so I've got Matt lipsticks oh here's number 22 of makeup forever i'll probably still get rid of it because it's so old i've <laughs> got other favorite nudes now anyway i'm gonna go in and show all of these now which are my makeup store lipsticks which once again i don't really reach for a lot at the moment <clears throat> so first kiss i remember i used to love these I've had a lot of these for quite a while now, so I need to be kind of cutthroat. I feel like that color 
Is that similar to, let me just check, Lao Tong by XO Beauty? Yeah, look, that's way too similar. So I'm gonna keep, obviously, Lao Tong, because it's mine. <laughs> Stunning color though, I love, love, love it. It's actually a lot more realistic. I mean, similar in real life. On camera, it looks a little bit different. Lao Tong is just a little bit more like vivid. Next up, I have a, a glossy finish in Bittersweet. I've never even used it, I'm going to give that friends to try, see if the formula is still all good. This one is called Attitude and it is a sheer. And just because I'm loving shears, I feel like I need to shave my hands. Is that a thing? Like I've got so many hairs on my hands. <laughs> I kind of like it. Once again, just like on top of a nude lipstick. Sorry, I'm just like wiping off this other lipstick color that I've like put on here. Um, I feel like on top of a nude lip pencil, that could look really beautiful and like pouty and shiny. So I'll put that there, that's a maybe. <clears throat> and then I have Burgundy, which is a cream finish. That one's starting to get all waxy. I feel like, yeah, they smell a bit iffy. Oh, do I give that to it? Mm, no, nah, I think I'll just spin it. We have Crimson, which is a matte. Still applies amazing. Did you see that, the pigment? I feel like I've kept a similar one though by um, NARS. So, I don't know. I'm gonna actually give some to friends so they can try them. Um, just because, I don't know, they might be okay. This is Dare. I love that. Um, next we have Old Pink, which is a glossy, which is super pale. It looks like it's kind of gone off, you know, sometimes when the pigment just disappears. This is like a different formula, I think, because it's in a short, fat package. And it is a orangey nude called it Crust. <laughs> <laughs> that is not an appealing name. Oh god, that's, that, I feel like I'd just look sick if I wore that. Next up we have Exit, which is another sheer color. That's just too pale, like waste of time. We have Attitude. Wait, didn't I just swatch? Yeah, this is a brand new version of Attitude, so I'll put that aside for a friend maybe. We have Drama, which is a cream. I feel like we've seen one just like that too. We have Scarlet, which is a cream, another orangey color, which looks, once again, quite similar to Lao Tong by Exo Beauty, so I will get rid of that. Next up, we have the shade Crust again. <laughs> Oh my god. See, why do I have so many of the same color? This is a metallic, um, pretty baby matte. It's a pale pink. I honestly don't think I'll reach for a color like that anytime soon. I used to only wear colors like that. Those times are past. This is violet, but I've got a similar one from Urban Decay that I've just kept. Alright, we're almost at the end here, guys. We've got watermelon, which is a creamy formula. It's like a watermelon pink. But mm, I'm iffy about that. Prairie, which is a candy peachy color. I actually love that color. That is so pretty. Perhaps kind of similar to Sorbet by Dose of Colors. Oh, it's a little bit different. I've also got Exit. I feel like we already swatched Exit and that was like very pale. And then I have Crown, which is a cream. This is a pink, and I feel like I've got a jillion colors just like it. And then the last one I have here is called Redwood, which is a cream. This one looks a little bit more unique. Yeah, that's quite pretty. That's like a mauve, but super pale. I don't think I have a mauve that pale in my collection. So there we go. I've kept four and got rid of a ton. Oh, and there's some long line ones just here. So I've got... Oh, I think I'll just get rid of all of them. I don't think I've used any of them, eh? Nah. I actually really like these. These Kaylin. They're like a random as brand, but I really like them. They're like a tinted lip balm, um, but they're basically just like a lipstick. They're actually really pretty, but I don't wear these colors very often. I bought this when I went to Vegas the first time. This is the matte lipstick in Miss You by, I think it's like Estee Lauder or something. I don't even know where the brand is, but I've got a jillion colors identical to it, so I don't need it. It's gonna be really difficult for me to narrow down some of these YSL colors, I already know. I'm just gonna leave the MAC ones alone for now, because we know that those are kind of all fine and dandy. I just need to like take these lids off and organize them like this. But we can do that soon. I don't know why I have some colors in here. I think these ones were the ones that I was going to give to friends and I kept my favorites. I can't remember what they're called. I did a whole video on this entire collection. If you search MAC Spring Collection, Shanixo, it should pop up. Oh, see, that one's really pretty though. This is high fructose. Maybe I just put them back in the packaging to take photos of them. Because I'm definitely keeping that. All right, the lighting keeps changing on me. Hopefully this is all right. Um, so I've got my Patticus MAC lipsticks up here too, which has new lids on soon. 
<clears throat> and then I've got a few older NARS lipsticks. I think most of these, like not super old, but kind of old. So I'll probably just give those to friends. And I like prefer the Audacious, is it Audacious? Yeah, the Audacious line anyway. So yeah, look how pale this is. This is a um, limited edition one. It's like white. <laughs> All right, we've got a couple of Kylie lipsticks, which surprisingly I really like the formula, but this one is a shiny, um, this was a Halloween one, shiny orange, which I'm not gonna keep. And then we have Spider Bite, which is a matte, but I did keep, you know, a couple by Urban Decay that are very similar, so I'll probably just keep those Urban Decay ones. So this is taking quite a while. By the time I organize everything and put lids on everything, I feel like this video is gonna be long enough, so I'm just gonna go through the last stuff over on this edge here. I'm just gonna attempt <laughs> to try and get in the frame. So at the very front, we do have some Winky Lux lipsticks. I really should try and use these because they're so cute. They're in like a pill packaging. But let's have a look at the color. Look, that one's got like wax all over the edge of it. I just don't know if any of the, mm, nah, you know what? I'm gonna give them to friends because I feel like, I don't know, I just don't think I'll use the colors. This one's so cute though, look. It's like a glitter balm. My friends will enjoy and I can donate the ones that are unused too. We have another Estee Lauder straggler right here. This one is in the shade Neon Azalea. Oh cute, that's my friend's daughter's name, Azalea. Um, anyway, this is very, very hot pink. I'll give that to a friend because once again I've got some more ones. Um, that's a Tom Ford. Okay, so over here we have some more ColourPop lipsticks. We've got the shade Quickie. I think I'm gonna keep these because I really like the formula and I want to get some more use out of them. This is like an orangey nude. This is called Ooh. I don't know. I'm sure these were a collab with I Love Sarahi or however you say her username. I forget. She's so nice. I met her in Japan. Um, come on, sis. So I'm gonna keep all of them. Put them over here. We'll recognize them in a moment. We've got lip glosses. I'm probably just give them away because I don't use them enough. I've got a tart lipstick here. I do have more tart lipsticks somewhere. I want to keep this. This is the pink sand and it's so pretty. I know I'm starting to like get repetitive with my nudes now but I just love that and I love the packaging with the little turtle on the top. It's so cute. We've got some. Oh that's another matte one. That's a matte one. This doesn't actually belong in here. I love this though. This is the Manuka Doctor Lip Enhancer. It's like a plumpy lip balm. Put that in my other drawer. Okay, <clears throat> we've got some Fenty colors. I want to just keep a couple. There are some very unique shades in here, so I'll probably keep a couple unique ones for like my colorful series. So we've got a nude. I definitely think, you know, I've got other nudes just like that. We've got a bright orange. I did a lip swatch video on these. If you want to go check it out, I'm pretty sure I did anyway. That's a really vibrant orange that's very yellow toned, so I might keep that. We have a like a brown called Shorty. Do I have a brown like that? Maybe not. Keep that. An even darker one, which I want to keep that too, because that's very dark brown. I don't have anything like that. I'm gonna keep all of these weird colours, just because they're handy to have for my videos. Like I said, the colourful series and stuff. That one's kind of like Wabi Sabi by Exo Beauty, so I don't really need that one. This one's a hot pink, um, a light terracotta nude. Oh my god, cool. Yes. Yes, please. And then we've got, what is this? Oh, it's like more of a pinkyish kind of, I don't know how to describe it. Let me just choose one out of these three because I don't need all three. That one I feel like I've got other dupes for. And then finally, this is a red, which I definitely can dupe. So I'll keep this one right here, which by the way is called Spanked. So that's all them. We've got some Anastasia Beverly Hills lipsticks. I love these, but we don't know how um, unique these are gonna be. Like I feel like that's not unique. We've got a light mauve lilac, which that's cool. That's very lilac, so I'll keep that one. We've got a spice right here. What's this? It's kind of like that one, which I just said I've got a dupe for. And then the last one I've got here is called Soft Touch. I do have more of these somewhere as well, so we have to come back to this brand. Soft Touch is just like a nude. Um, very pretty though. I might just keep that one for now and I'll get rid of that one. We've got another Urban Decay in here. But I'm just popping up all over the place. This one's called Native, stunning but old. Um, okay, now I've got YSL and 
a lot of these are very old but I'm still gonna be like I don't know I feel like I'm not gonna be able to get rid of them because I'm obsessed with them I've like collected them over time and I just I don't want to throw them out because they're like literally like what $80 or something in New Zealand I don't know but if they look revolting I will but otherwise I'm keeping them and I'm gonna keep using them because yeah I might declutter them a little bit because I do have quite a few oh wait there's a couple of Clinique lipsticks so I have a shit ton of Clinique lipsticks up in my drawers which I also need to declutter into here so I'll probably Probably do that at some stage soon. Sorry, the lighting's so bright. Literally, I'll show you real quick. I've got like three trays like this. So I'm just gonna sit them in there. I need to declutter all of them and pop them into these drawers as well at some stage. I've got so many lipsticks up there. Lots of like Kylie lip kits, um, Jura Cosmetics, like Sephora, and yeah, heaps. So I need to go through them. I've got some little liquid lipsticks here too by Kylie, which is so good for travel. I'm just gonna keep them for now I think. Party Girl is such a fun colour. I wore that in a photo and they reposted it. It's like this bright coral. All right so let's get started. So yeah I've got so let me just grab them all and then I will do all of my Tom Ford in my next declutter. So first I'll start with my Rouge Volops. Now there's so many, so this is shade 31. I really need a cut bag, honestly I do. But they're just so fun. Like, when will I ever wear a color like that? I don't know, but I still love it. Let's put it aside for now. I've got shade seven, which is well loved. This is so old as well. I think 2014 and 2015 is when I started collecting these. It still smells like how it's supposed to, so the quality is obviously really, really good. I don't know, I might keep that one. We've got shade 13 which is more of a coral. I'll just swatch them on my hands for you, just in case you're curious. I believe all of these are still sold. That is just the coolest color ever. Like, please. Ugh, I love. We have shade two, which is a favorite. It's a nude, very muted. Probably a bit more wearable than the pink. I might keep the pink, because it's like something I, like I've gotten rid of a lot of my baby pinks, so I feel like I should keep one baby pink, guys. Okay, next I've got shade 29. This is a bolder pink. I feel like I do have colors just like that already. So I'll give that to a friend. The packaging is just iconic. This is shade eight, which is very similar except more cool tone. Next I have this one here, which is shade 15. And this one is a bit more sheer and it is a kind of coral color. I'm obsessed. Then I have shade 15, which is another sheer one. I'm going to like donate that or give it to a friend because it's fresh. And then I have shade 11 which same story and then I have shade 32 which that is the most amazing soft pink. It looks like it would be really bright when you look at it but it's like so beautiful. I'm obsessed. Once again that's shade 32. And then the last one I have is shade 15 and this is a really bright orangey color. I feel like I've got a lot like that though. I kind of want to go back and keep this one which I think was shade 29. Yeah, I'm gonna keep shade 29 because the more I look at it, the more I love it, even though I've got another similar one. I think one of the Audacious colors by NARS is quite similar, but <clears throat> you can't steal all of my happiness today. And then this is where shit gets real. Please hold while I grab all of these. I know what you're thinking, and yes, I am effed in the head. Just wiping my hands so I can do some more swatches for you. I like to do a few swatches in these videos, otherwise it's literally just, you know, nothingness. You don't get any information. I want to educate you guys on some of these colors too. So these here are called the Rouge Pure Couture. I think there might be a couple of different types in here perhaps. We will soon find out <clears throat> as we go. Um, some of these are new, some of them are old. Like some of them I've been sent recently. Some of them I purchased myself years ago. So we're just gonna have to play it by ear. So first we have shade 22, which is a very candy, cool tone pink color. That reminds me of Saint Germain. Do I still have Saint Germain? Because I really want to do a look with Saint Germain. Um, I think I got rid of it though. So you know what? I might keep this just as it's literally like a dupe for Saint Germain by Mac. So I might keep it so I can, you know, recreate one of my old makeup tutorials. I really want to do that where I recreate a very old look I did. 
using similar or same products. Next we have shade 59. This is the most beautiful peach with a little bit of a shine. And normally I don't like colors like this, but this one is just so beautiful because it's so soft. It's like a golden shimmer. Oh my gosh, like on top of a nude lip pencil, yes please. So that's staying. Once again, that's shade 59. That is to die for. Next we have shade 26. This is another cooler tone pinky color. And as you can see, a lot of these are unused, but it's kind of similar to the one that's like a Saint Germain dupe. Um, so I don't really need both. So I'll give that to a friend, which makes me cry inside. As much as I love my friends, like still, this is YSL. Like I, the inside of me just wants to hoard this forever. <laughs> Next we have 13. This one's super old. This used to be one of my favorite colors. I believe this was Kourtney Kardashian's favorite lipstick or something. Um, look how much I've used. Like that's a lot for a lipstick that, you know, like is a bright color for me. That's like a lot. I feel like it's kind of similar to Limer and Spikes or video. Let me just check. I don't know if I should keep it or not. Yeah, look how similar that is. Limerence is just more of a matte. And I feel like I would prefer to wear this color in a bit more of a matte form formula because then it won't move so much. Um, so. <sighs> I'll give that to a friend. Oh my goodness. It is very old too. I've had that since I can remember. Like I got that in like 2013. Okay, next up is shade 65. This is a beautiful deep, deep red. Oh my god, that's so red. It's got like an orange undertone. I don't have anything like that. Yes. Next, we've got 23, which is a peachy nude. So pretty. I'm keeping it. This is not going well. Next up, we have this really bright color. It's like a bright coral in shade 52. It's so pretty, but it looks similar to, I think, Kairos. Maybe. I just want to check. So this is Kairos by So Beauty. Oh no, Kairos is more muted. Look at that. Can I justify keeping both? I think I can. Next up, I have shade 06 in nude. See, they've just nailed these colors. Like, they've got so many beautiful colors. I feel like I've got others like this though. But it is like absolutely beautiful. I'm saying a stutter. I'm so excited. I hope I'm in frame right now. My bad. Um, next up, we've got shade 7, which is a beautiful deep berry pink. Do I have anything like I feel like I don't have anything like that. And even if I do, I don't care. <laughs> the only person I'm cheating is myself. Okay, next is shade 10, which is a mauve nude. Like, why is I was doing mauve nudes before they were even in style? So, basically, queens. Next up, I have shade 24. And this is more of a, like, that looks so similar to Ubuntu, though, by XO Beauty. Yeah, Ubuntu is just more pigmented, so I might as well keep Ubuntu. Next, we have shade 9 which has been smashed against the roof of the lid. I love that. It's quite a cool color. I feel like I don't have anything like that. Oh my gosh. Snap, another one to keep. Okay, next we have shade 50. Some of the packaging you'll notice is like really like orangey. I think these are my older ones. I think the ones that are like this are newer. And I say I think these are the older ones because they've got like oil staining on them. Like you can tell I've had them in my handbags and stuff and like they've really been thrashed because they're really, like dirty looking compared to these ones and also the YSL logo like covered the bottom which they used to do whereas now it looks like they just have the YSL up here rather than on the actual bottom cap. So here we have a red. I'm going to get rid of that one because I have so many reds already and that one didn't look like anything quite you know unique. This is a very bright candy. It's in the shade 221 and I have Ineffable by XO Beauty which is like my favorite bright pink. So like that's just my go-to bright pink if I want a bright pink. I don't think I need to have many of those because I just don't wear a color like that on an everyday basis at all. Next up we have shade 1 which I feel like, didn't I already have that? But this is a like bright red as well which looks very similar to others I have. We've got shade 66 which is a brownie mauve. Oh yeah. Give it to me. I need to use some of these. If there's any particular color I'm calling out, I hope you can see these swatches. That was that one. Um, just comment them below so I can do a tutorial using them because, yeah, there's a lot here. This is shade 38, which is a sheer baby pink. That's not my favorite at all. Don't really like that one. Then we have shade 27, which is another bright candy pink. I think I already got rid of one of them. Um, we have shade 220 which I feel like we already had two, didn't we? This is a brighter orange. I actually don't know, but I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> and then I have shade 36, which is a beautiful muted coral. Oh my God. Then I have shade 49, which is another bright blue based pink. Holy shit. And then the last one is 51. 
oh my god I can already tell I want to keep this it's quite is it this like almost the same as 36 why are these so similar literally I could almost say they're the same I feel like this one's like half a shade darker I don't need both all right so I just checked that lip stories are still available and they are so I'm just gonna go through these and I'm pretty sure these are all of my favorites anyway because I remember there was like 40 of them or so I did a lip swatch video and I remember just picking out my favorites I think yeah this is all of them they're so cheap they're like eight dollars each like I feel like I should just keep them all so that I can like use them because they're so cheap for you guys to obtain. So I probably will just do that actually. Alright, next up we have some Elizabeth Arden lipsticks which is severely underrated. I don't even know if they still make them. I hope they do. But, oh my god, look, I've mixed that one with a dark colour obviously. Um, they've got the most amazing formula so I'm just going to quickly have a peek at some. Like this one looks amazing. This is called Pale Petal. My hand's all stained but look at that pigment. So I'm just going to go through and keep some of my favourites. I'll speed this up. Oh my goodness, these smell like dessert. <laughs> they smell so good. Alright. Oh, and there's a Sunday Riley lipstick, which I purchased so long ago. Yeah, that's so expired. I'm just going to quickly recap all of my lipsticks now. I purchased these off Amazon, um, and I just keep them all in my wardrobe so that, you know, if I ever want to put the proper lids back on, I can. So I'm just going to go through and do this in fast food motion. And now I'm just going to quickly reorganize these lipsticks. Oh, there's a sticker here. Oh, that goes on one of my dose of colors. Okay, honestly, so many of these MAC colors are starting to look very similar, but when I get back from Vegas, I'm doing a, another MAC lip swatch video because I got sent like every single one of their nude lipsticks, so I thought I would do like a nude lip swatch video. And I've also got some other stuff to do lip swatches on as well, so those are coming like Huda Beauty and stuff, so um, I will probably organize my MAC lipsticks and declutter them again in a separate video at some stage. So I'm just going to leave them like that for now. Um, now for the end of this video I'm just going to reorganize this far drawer which you cannot currently see. Sorry I know this video is very long but lipsticks are important okay. They deserve time and patience. So I'm starting with the XO Beauty lipsticks in the closest corner to me because they are my most used in my everyday life and I use them a lot in my videos too. Hopefully you guys don't mind. Um, so I'm just going to pop them all down here. I'm kind of putting them in order of colors too. I do actually have like doubles of a lot of these shades and a lot of them are missing too because I've packed them to go away with me at the moment so they're all like sitting in my makeup bag but that's fine for now. I'm gonna put my Tarte over here. I feel like I've got some more Tarte lipstick so I need to like save some room for his mates when they come over. Alright, so I've put some liquid lipsticks down this side, some gold packaging here, some black packaging, some of my um, NARS right here. I mean, not NARS. What are these? Urban Decay. I'm 
going to get rid of the red because it doesn't fit nicely. <laughs> and I've kept a lot of other reds. And I noticed I have a lot of similar reds by MAC. Um, and then I've just got some of my Elizabeth Arden's just here. Can I get rid of one of these? I'm going to get rid of Rose Petal. So I've got space for my um, Extra Exo Beauty lipsticks because I do have more of them. I'm going to probably move this around in my next declutter anyway because I do have all of those Tom Ford lipsticks to fit in. So I'll probably like categorize it next time into luxury, high-end, and drugstore brands and just figure it out as I go. But for now, I am pretty happy. Literally, this is it. Everything you can see right here. Um, plus some Fenty Beauty at the back there and some little Kylie Cosmetics ones over there which I'll deal to in a different video probably. In my next video I've got a whole lot to do. In fact, I know this video is already really long but let me just quickly go through the Clinique ones as well. I don't want to keep too many because like I've, oh, I've got almost, I think I do have every shade. So I'll just keep my favorites. Right here I have Beige Pop and Penny Pop. You guys have seen me use some of these in my videos in the past. We have Blushing Pop. I love the nudes. I love the packaging because you can see exactly like what color they are. I might keep this one which is called Mod Pop because it's a hot pink. Because I didn't really keep many hot pinks that weren't like, you know, fluorescent if you know what I mean. By the way, these packaging ones here are more of like a glaze. They're a sheer formula. And then I'm just going to organize them like into kind of a color theme. That'll do. So there we go. There's the end of the video. I hope this was entertaining, relaxing, and satisfying. That's the most important thing. I know you guys still love these videos, so there's always gonna be more coming. Like, I could already go back to my eyeshadow palettes and declutter those, even though they were my previous kind of declutters. Like, I, yeah, they are messy, they are full. So I've completely filled up this entire box full of lipsticks for friends to go through, and then I will also donate some of those, and then, over here we have a trash bag full of lipsticks that are rubbish so yeah let me know if you're excited for the next one which is the drawers beneath this one more lipstick videos so it'll be similar to this except with a whole lot of different brands let me know if you want more swatches less swatches and i'll talk to you guys next time bye <laughs>